Just a bit of weight, is it? Oh, yeah. Wow. What's that? Tasmanian devils became extinct on the mainland of Australia around about 3,000 years ago. And so the last place that they still exist is in Tasmania. But over the recent decades, they've been suffering from a terrible facial tumor disease. And so an insurance population has been established here at the Aussie Ark Sanctuary. And there's actually about 200 of these Tasmanian devils. But over the last couple of years, there's been a number of Tasmanian devils that have now been released for the first time into the wild in the mainland of Australia. With devils, it's certainly thrown around that they could have been on mainland as recently as three to 500 years ago. Um, it's generally accepted that they certainly were here 3,000 years ago, and somewhere between three and five is non-debatable. Whether it's 500 or 5,000, it's ecologically a blink of an eye. So these are all what we call uh, managed environmental enclosures, Mees. And they keep the devils in a wild state, behaviorally, group dynamics, so lots of social interactions, but they're still managed. They're quite small. Um, I just love it. I mean, I'm in here so often, but you get, a, get that feeling that there's actually native animals in here. The little ones, you know, it's like, wow. So we've got a couple of traps here. So there's only two devils in this enclosure um, and they're the two for release. Um, the trap is a long piece of pipe. It's got a little mechanism in there and there's a piece of food. When the devil grabs the food, it pulls the pin out and the trap door closes. Ah, look at that. I really like showing it because this is really classical wild behavior. So just frozen. Big boy. See this loss of fur? Will happen even if other devils are absent. So it's a... Oh. <laughs> and retractable testes. Oh, they're retractable? Yeah. The first time I saw that was as a kid when it went over the water bowl. Yeah. Water bowl and them dunked them down like a, like a cup of tea. <laughs> What's it? So before release, uh, we'll just have a quick look. These devils were only captured a week ago and given a full vet check but we'll have a look today and just make sure nothing's happened between. So all fingers and toes and eyes and ears and everything looks good. And then we'll take them down to the sanctuary where we can release them. I still view devils as an animal that's native to mainland Australia. Ecologically, there's a niche that is being filled by the fox and cat, placental mammals. They're eradicating our critical weight range natives. That's why we have the second highest loss of biodiversity in the world, and it's why we have the highest rate of mammal extinctions in the world, as many as the rest of the world put together. Slot the devil in, it can control fox and cat. There's been cats in Tasmania forever, but they didn't swell in numbers. And it's so easy to see that since the devil numbers have declined, cat numbers have increased, at last I knew it, to at least be by 70%. They're in Tassie for cats were in Tassie for 150 years, so there's a really good baseline. So they were obviously having an impact on cats. That's what we want on mainland. We want a natural control solution, like has happened in our state that suffered the least amount of extinctions. We want a bit of that on mainland. This is a bit like the return of the wolves into Yellowstone National Park. So you've got an apex predator that's coming back onto the mainland of Australia, and it just helps to reset the ecosystem.